Hey YouTube, gonna do a quick uh, that little upgrade to my one wheel, some protection for it. Uh, got this from Float Supply. So we're gonna unbox everything I got and install it on my one wheel. So I got some float rails, the reflective blue. Let's see what else I got. Oh, it looks like I got some one wheel swag from Float Life. Float Life Koozie, business card, alcohol prep pads, we're gonna need those. And float flights, unbleached pure hemp papers. Do it yourself mini airplane kit. That uh that might just come in handy. We'll set that aside. So <clears throat> Just got my pint last night. I want to make sure it stays, you know, in as good a shape as possible. So that's why I ordered these rails. So, or these rail protectors. So the way these go on is they kind of just sit like so. Now, I've seen some people have problems with them uh, that started from the outside and went to the middle. So we're definitely going to start from the middle and work to the outside because the outside can hang over. We don't want an overlap right here where these two uh, almost like puzzle pieces fit together. So your ones with your holes are going to go on the opposite side where your charging port and your power button is. So we're going to start on the opposite side. We'll set these aside. <clears throat> and take one of my alcohol prep pads and I'm gonna just go over this whole area make sure it's clean dust free because we want our sidekicks from float supply to stick really well <clears throat> So we'll give that just a second to dry. While that's drying, I did want to show you guys this. So this is something pretty awesome. I think it's awesome. <clears throat> so Float Supply, they not only sent me a receipt, but a handwritten thank you for my purchase. That says, thanks Mark, float on my friend. So I think that's a nice touch. I like it when companies do something like that. You know, just something as simple as a, hey, thanks for your purchase. You know, something like that. That's nice of companies to take the time to do. Okay, so now we're gonna get our rails installed, our, our sidekicks installed. So lay them out, make sure we know which way they're gonna go. Here's my cat, Halo, he's gonna help. So we're going to go ahead and peel the backing off of this. And again, we're going to start on the inside. Being careful to line up the top and the bottom. Like I said, it's okay if the ends go over a little bit. The middle is what is most important to me because I want the middle section of these pieces to line up and I'm just gonna lay the rest down and smooth it out now I haven't pushed too hard yet in case I need to reposition because I'm gonna put this other one on next hi halo we see you're helping peel this one off I'll go ahead and line up our jigsaw shaped piece Make sure we go all the way across. And I think I got the positioning pretty good. So now that these are on, this is a pressure adhesive. So I'm just gonna take this balled up rag and I'm gonna push down on these, try and work out any air bubbles that could be there and also to help promote adhesion. And now that I've done that, we can go ahead and peel off this protective film that keeps your side kicks from getting scratched when they're on their way to you. So that looks pretty good. 
So now we'll flip it over and do our other side. And hopefully it's as easy to do with the holes. So we're going to turn the board around. And same thing, we're going to clean this with an alcohol prep pad. Make sure we get any grease or dirt or anything that could be on here off. From me touching it, from the factory touching it, you know, whatever. Cat hair. I have two cats. They're both assholes. One's name's Willow. She does love to drink beer. I have videos of her drinking beer. And Halo, he's right here. He's the lover. Willow's over there being an asshole for some reason. I also have two dogs for any dog lovers. I have Luna, named after uh, Luna Lovegood and Harry Potter. And we have a dog named Arrow, which is named after my love for flying RC stuff. So we'll give that just a second to dry. Now you want to make sure you get these in the right position. You see we have one with a larger hole and one with a smaller hole. The smaller hole is going to go over our charging port and the larger hole is going to go over our power button. So I'm going to go ahead and peel that part out. <clears throat> Take off the sticker that's on the back. If I can get my fingernail under it. Now this one I want to be especially careful with on both these because I want to make sure that I line up in the middle and also get my button holes lined up. So it doesn't have to be perfect, you know, but I'd like it to be as close to perfect as possible. So that looks pretty good there. And that looks good. So now we'll do the other side again. I'm going to pop out this little center piece. off the backing line up our cut area here and it looks like it matches up pretty well to my charging port so everything looks stuck down pretty good I'll go ahead and take my rag and go over it Help make sure it's stuck down good. Peel off our protective plastic. And that's it. So that's the installation of the sidekicks from Float Supply. You can pick these up at loadsupply.com I believe is the address they have a YouTube and uh, I'll be doing another update as soon as I get some more upgrades for my window so until next time you guys take it easy